In this video, I'll show you how to create three easy visuals inside of Python with the Seaborn library. And even though they're easy to make, they can still give you some useful insights on your data. And make sure to watch all the way to the end because you'll see the syntax for each different type of visual. And you can apply that syntax to your own projects. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Just as a demonstration, I'm gonna be using a data set on all the pro tennis matches in 2022. You can check out the link to the data set in the description below. Now to be able to show you all these visuals, I have to import three libraries. It's gonna be pandas, seaborn, and matplotlib. So I'm first gonna say import pandas as pd for the pandas library. And then for a seaborn library, I'll say import seaborn as sns. And finally for a matplotlib, I'll say from matplotlib import pyplot as plt. I run that and all the libraries are imported successfully. So on to the next cell. I have to specify what our data frame is. So I'm going to say df, which is our data frame and is equal to pd.read csv. And we're going to pass in the file name of our data set. So for me, it's going to be called ATP matches 2022.csv. If I run that, it looks like our data frame is loaded. So now we could create our visuals from the data. The first visual I'll show you is the count plot. And this is basically a simple bar chart that counts the number of unique values in a categorical variable. So we're going to use one of the methods from Seaborn called count plot. And I'm going to say sns.countplot. And so the first argument is going to be what our data frame is. And so we created that up here. Our data frame is called df. So in the first argument, I'm going to say data is equal to df. Now in the second argument, I have to specify which column I want to be counted. So for me personally, I'm interested in seeing how the number of tournaments is different for each surface. So I'm going to say x is equal to the column name, which is the surface. Now if I run that, it gives us this nice simple bar chart. I'm going to do a bit more styling to it. So I'm going to say I'm going to say plt.title and then inside the quotation marks, I'm going to specify the title, which I want to be number of tournaments by the surface. And I also want to have a different color theme of the graph. So I'm going to say sns.set and inside this method, I'm going to say styles equal to dark grid. And this is completely optional. I'm just doing it for personal preference. So if I run that, it looks a lot cleaner now. I just prefer this, the color theme of the dark grid, but you could leave it as the default. The second visual is the scatter plot, which shows you the relationship between two quantum variables. And in this video, I'll show you the relationship between the number of first serves that go in on the X axis and the number of aces on the Y axis. So I'm actually going to create a new column called total first serves in. And this is because the data set has two separate columns for the winners and losers for the first serves that go in. So it just gives us more work to do. We have to combine the two columns together and create a new total column. And I'm going to say that this is equal to the number of first serves that go in for the winners and losers. So that's DF with W underscore first in, that's the name of the column, plus DF L underscore first in, which is the losers. And so if I take a look at that, it returns all the total number of first serves that go in. Okay, now I need to create another column called total aces, and it's the same deal here. I'm going to add up the total aces by saying DF total aces. This is going to be the new column, and that's equal to DF, and then W underscore ace, which is the winners, and DF L underscore ace, which is the losers. If I take a look at that, then it returns the total number of aces. Okay, finally, we're ready for a scatter plot. So I'm actually going to use matplotlib for this. There's a method called scatter. And for the first argument, I'm going to put in the x axis, which is going to be df total first serves in. And then for a second argument, it's going to be our y axis. So that's going to be our total aces. Now, if I run that, it looks pretty good, but we can make this a bit more descriptive. So over here, I'm going to say plt.xlabel, and this is going to show you the 
title of the x-axis. So I'm going to call this the number of first serves in. And now I want to title for the y-axis. So I'm going to say plt.ylabel. And that's going to be the number of aces. And if I run that, that looks pretty good now. But in my opinion, I think it's a little bit squished. I can make it a bit bigger. So I'm going to go up here and say fig is equal to plt.figure. And inside the parentheses, I'm going to say fig size is equal to 15.8. And this is going to make the visual wider and taller. So if you look at that, that looks a lot bigger now. And you can see that there's a positive correlation between these two variables, meaning that as the number of firsts that go in increases, then the aces also tends to increase. Now, last but not least is the box plot. This one's pretty cool because you can see the distribution of a numerical variable. So let's say that I want to see the distribution of the total aces that I made over here. So to do that, I'm first gonna specify the size of the visual. So I'm gonna make it the same size as the scatter plot. So I'm gonna copy that and then go over to this cell and then paste it. Now all I gotta do is use the box plot method from Seaborn. So I'm gonna say sns.boxplot and inside the parentheses, I have to specify what I want to see on the x-axis. So that's gonna be the total aces. So I'm gonna say x is equal to df and then total aces for the column. And remember, you have to input a numerical variable inside the x-axis or else the box plot won't run. If I run that, then it seems like the distribution is skewed to the right with a ton of outliers in the right end of the distribution. Let's say I want to show the distribution of the total aces based on each different kind of surface. So now there's two different variables in play here. So I'm going to add in another argument and it's going to be the y axis. And I'm going to say df and the surface. So if I run that, now it shows me three different box plot, one box plot for each different kind of surface. So just by briefly glancing at this, I can already tell that the grass box plot has the highest median if you look at this line over here. And this actually makes sense because grass is the fastest tennis surface. So you're more likely to hit more aces. Now there's a lot more types of visuals you can make in Python. I just barely scratched the surface here. So if you want to see me create an interactive map, I created a video on that already. Check out this video. It's only three minutes long. And if you want, feel free to comment down below what your favorite type of visual is. And yeah, don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.